bricks. <laughs> that is amazing. And time to start putting holes in a good roof. guys, John here. And Jack. Welcome back to another fantastic day here at the island. Today's video is part three of our solar installation, and we're going to be throwing up a bunch of panels on roofs. If you'd like to know what sort of materials we used and how to install that, you can check out video two, um, where all those details are. If you're interested about all the fun electronics, like batteries and inverters and other things. We're gonna be doing that in the next part, part four, which will also be the last part of the series. So stay tuned and enjoy another episode of the Off Grid series. All right, tell us where we at with this whole thing. Uh, just starting to put the panels down and connect them up, making sure that all the cables are tied neatly and correctly to the rails. Bit of a tricky situation, sort of working on the roof as soon as you sit down on it, it's, um, you've got to get sort of like under the panels to reach. Left a couple of things that I couldn't get to, um, to get with the ladder um, from underneath, but that's only just because walking past here is very easy to see up and underneath. But otherwise, I think it's going pretty, pretty much to plan. I haven't actually tightened tightened up the um, the brackets at the moment. So I just wanna make sure it's nice and neat along the um, roof line. And that's just because when you walk down here, you actually come in at eye level on the um, panels. And so I put a little bit of extra effort into making sure that the whole group of panels is perfectly um, in line and parallel and everything. So a little bit of time there, um, but it's gonna pay off and it's gonna look really, really good. So to neaten up all the cables underneath the um, panels, I've got these little uh, cable clips here and uh, made of stainless steel so they don't rust. Just to make it neat and tidy, gonna get it to sit up inside the panel. So just put it up the right way and then up she goes. Done. Neat and tidy. That's how they are positioned. Oh, beautiful. Out of precisely that's better. Beautiful. That, that's good. I'm just going to clip this last one on up here. And oh, there's a bunch of stuff there. It's all good and tight. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Um, been measuring as we've been going along, and it's all good to date. Uh, what do we got here now? What do we need? Well, we got 10 panels. They're rated at around about 40 volts each. So we should have 400 volts. And what do we have? We've got minus 399 volts. So if I put them around the correct way, the correct way we'll have. 398 volts, which is, you know, perfect. I mean, look, we're in the shade now. Uh, sun's going down. So. Mission successful. I think we're pretty good. So what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll just clamp them up now, now that we're happy with that. So it's gonna be a bit of um, sort of tricky stuff. We'll make sure it's all lined up with the roof, looks good. And then we will put the clamps on and using the ladder, we'll reach over the panels and clamp the middle ones on there. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> nice view from here. There they are. Yep, that's it. Next. All done. Uh, it's been a wonderful day. And uh, I think we're both feeling uh, relatively tired, actually, after getting all these panels up on the roof, being underneath them, um, getting all the cables sorted out. And the last thing we're gonna do is uh, just make sure that the roof capping is put back on. We remove that just to get some conduit down there and uh, then we'll be able to connect them up. So that's about it for now. Okay, so stay tuned because sometime in the future, we're going to do a small video about how to connect everything from the panels uh, up onto the uh, combiner box and then into the inverter. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe, like, and uh, thanks for sticking around.